Your first three games, you average nine points. Your last two games in the last 48 hours, you average 19 and a half, including a, 24, a career high 24 tonight. Mm -hmm. What's different? I think I'm just getting more comfortable, you know, playing here. I haven't played in a year, so that's big. But also learning my teammates and getting comfortable with my teammates and my coaches, I think that has made the difference. You mentioned you hadn't played in a year. You transferred from Arkansas. What was that like, practicing with this team but not being able to get out on the floor and play with them? It was weird, but um, I think I needed it just to learn the girls better. You know, I got to play on the practice team and come in and take as many shots as I wanted, so it got my confidence up, I think. Um, it's weird not playing, like I said, but when the girls traveled, I came in and I got extra workouts in, so it was helpful. You had 17 points at halftime tonight. You went five of six from the floor, including three from four on three-pointers. At what point did you realize Almost everything you threw up was going in. And what does that feel like as a shooter? Oh, it was great. I've been waiting for that moment because, like you said, the first three games were pretty rough for me. But um, I think midway through the first half, I was like, okay, it's going to be a good day. And then the second half, I didn't hit as many shots, obviously, so I had to rely on my teammates more, which they had my back, so it was fine. When you have a game like this where you're shooting so well, is it hard to balance the responsibility of running the offense versus the urge to look for your shot every time down the floor? I mean, I wanted to shoot it more. But Mo runs the offense more than I do, so um, I feel like she helps out with that area. But um, like I said, I missed a couple shots in the second half, and then I was like, okay, it's time to get everybody else involved too. So you played 69 minutes in the last two nights, and the nature of your position, you put a lot of miles on your tires. You're doing a lot of running. What's the key to surviving back-to-back -back games like that, and how do you recuperate in time for Tuesday? Icing. I hate it. hate it so much, but definitely icing, ice baths. <laughs> you got to make me get in there, but that's definitely a huge key, and staying off your feet. How often did you play back-to-backs at Arkansas or high school or AAU? AAU, I played all kinds of back-to-backs, but I feel like I haven't played back-to-backs -back since AAU, so it was tough. But... Um, we all gathered together and just pushed through it. Like, it got really close, but we just, we were like, we gotta go, we gotta go right now, and it worked out. In terms of the way your body responded then, are you surprised that you not only got through the game, but had your best night as a college player? I'm not, not surprised, because, I mean, I just feel like that's part of, part of the game, you just gotta push through it. Um, but like I said, my teammates were definitely very helpful in that situation. All right, I'll ask you the same thing I asked your coach. Other than getting some rest, what do you individually need to do to keep the hot performances going on Tuesday night? And then what does your team need to do to go on the road and, and try for a third straight win? Um, I think we need to come in and work on what we need to work on for the other team and also come in and get shots up. And don't, you know, I don't think we should take this win for granted. We've got to keep working because we need to get another one and another one after that.